Hey everybody, today I am going to be unboxing the Yushin Huanlong 10x10. No, I just unboxed the 9x9 in a previous video and it felt pretty big in my hands. So I'm expecting this also to be pretty big in my hands. Well, let me open it. Ugh, this stuff is always hard to get out. And jeez, let me put the box away. Put this away. First thing, I like the 9x9, it's heavy. Second thing, these stickers are extremely off. So I might, I want to fix that right now actually. The yellow side looks stickered pretty badly. Actually not pretty badly, very much badly. And I'm actually not spotting a lot of bubbles. This thing is huge. It turns pretty smoothly though. The middle layers move as you turn the outer layers, which I guess should happen. This thing is so big. Oh my god. It's very heavy as well. When you're solving this, you might want to put it in your lap or something. But... I'm going to fix this sticker issue. This looks really bad. Like you see that they sticker literally like it's starting to go in the mechanism. Well, not the mechanism, inside the puzzle. So I'm going to have to, uh, most likely I'm going to take the stickers off and reapply them. Hopefully this works, alright? Hopefully it does. I'm not very good at stickering, but I got my handy dandy sticker peeler here. And I'm gonna try to fix this. So I'll, I'll see you then. Hopefully it works. Alright. Alright, so I fixed this to the best of my ability. You can see the stickers look, uh, I wouldn't say much better, but better now at least. Uh, unfortunately, all my doings resulted in a lot of bubbles, but at least it's better than before, right? Now, um, the puzzle itself actually feels extremely loose. I'm going to get on with the review now. But the initial turning is really smooth, actually. The inner layers do get a bit more stiff. I should say that. No lubricant is on here, though. So, um, I guess if you put more lubricant in there, it will turn better. I'm not sure. I don't understand lubricant, and personally, I don't really understand the concept of, you know, lubricating the core besides really, um, making the hardware better. Like, like, um, you know, the spring rubbing against the screw. You just put a little lubricant here. I always thought it was like that, but then lubricant, sorry, lubricant black actually changed my opinion on that and I really wonder how it works I never got my hands on lubricant black it's not released yet and really a small youtuber like me could not be a tester for a really a big company like the cubicle but back onto the puzzle the colors look really nice everything looks good it's really big in your hands and you have to tabletop it quite oftenly when you're solving I'm pretty sure I haven't solved it yet but it's a cool puzzle and you, sh you guys should definitely get it I got this during the office sale on speed cube shop and uh, you guys should uh, check out either speed cube shop or the cube code if you plan on buying puzzles Amazon usually sells things sells things for a, a bit more expensive and the only really good thing about Amazon is that they ship a bit faster considering that they're a big company. Well, mostly Amazon Prime. If you're buying something off of Amazon that does not have Amazon Prime, it won't ship very fast. But enough about Amazon, enough about me talking about random stuff. You guys should check out this puzzle. It's really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys all in my next video if you are going to watch it which hopefully you do i will mention though that this turns a bit uh you know 
stiffer than the 9x9. Nine nine. Let me try to do this nice little pattern staircase thing on here. Ooh, this looks cool. I wonder if this can stack up from uh, the uh, Chi line of puzzles. You can look at this from a side and it looks really, really cool. But this is the 9x9, this is the 10x10. These are all great puzzles. You guys should get them if you want a higher order puzzle. I think they're better than the Shang Shou ones. Don't know what you guys think. Because considering I have a 7x7 Shang Shou puzzle. And I should say that this actually turns smoother than that. Just to give you guys an idea. But, uh, enough about me talking. Go get some fresh air. Go outside. Stop watching YouTube. Bye.